My ship is destroyed, but I am relieved to find civilization. Wait. This... My ears are bleeding slightly. I find myself on a strange island. Odd music pummels my ears. Blood spurts forth from them. A random mermaid is here. She calls me strange names. Has caterpillars for eyelashes. One of her little pigs ran off with her hairbrush. I'm going to be a doll and retrieve it. She promises me big juicy rewards. But in the back of my skull, doubts weigh heavy. I search the island. Pigs. I destroy them easily. I gather the hairbrush. Oh dear. The pigs hurt. They are some sort of horrific pig creatures that gnaw at my soul. She calls me Honeybee and says there's a cat stuck in a tree. I already feel like an errand boy in this strange island. My ears pour forth with blood. This odd music pummels my ears. This odd beeps and loops. That's not a cat. That is a person dressed as a cat. Oh god, those eyes! Oh god. Her eyes torn to my soul. She calls me Catnip Pants. Is that supposed to be suggestive in some way? I don't even know anymore. She claims not to be a kitty cat. And then she says Mew. Signals conflicting. Crushing my head. Her pussy's gone missing. I was here seconds ago. What could have done this? I smell the trap. But I would do anything for some pussy. So I follow the little cat. Well, actually, I just randomly climbed up into a tree, kind of hoping the cat was in this direction. Oh, God. The precipice of the tree. Endless steps weighed before me. But a pig! I had to flee. Thankfully, there was a roof below me. A cat. We will, shall bring you to salvation, puss. By salvation, I mean your pretty weird owner with caterpillar eyes. Oh god, it burned me. Hello, here is your cat. I'm going to see Meredith. Maybe she can tell me where to leave this godforsaken island. Oh, these pigs. They stare at me with their vacant eyes. I know that they would kill me if they had a chance, but I won't let them have a chance. Oh dear. I'm going to be a sexy little slave and find a key for Meredith, apparently. What foul games did she have in mind? I had no choice but to find out. This is my only chance at escaping this island. The music seems to be changing constantly. Ever assaulting my ears. Ow! My feet. The pigs jump. Despite having no legs, I might be going insane. Oh god, the pigs magically jump through the ground. I've definitely... I seem to be losing it, but... Oh god, the pain. It hurts deep. Very deep. I climbed. I climbed this strange cliff face, hoping that I would find a key. Instead, I found pigs. Damn pigs. Oh god, they fly through the freaking ground at me. Have at you, pigs. Instead of a key, I found another woman who calls me a big juicy worm. I only hope she does not consume my soul. The key is in a cave. She's getting rid of rock hard boulders for me. I can't help but think that's some sort of euphemism, but my my dehydration addled mind is playing tricks on me. And so are these 
pigs. Omnipresent pigs. They seem to want me dead, but why? What is my quarrel with you pigs? What have I done to you? What have these women done to you? I just don't know what's going on. The pigs constantly assault. Meredith brings me inside. She's going to bring me to heaven and back. Oh god, I hope these women don't murder me. Oh. I have been turned into a pig. This is thoroughly embarrassing. Oh dear. Well, at least they thanked me for playing before they consumed my body and flesh and soul. So that was pretty awesome. Also, they have caterpillars growing all over their faces. It's pretty disturbing, actually. Poor me. <laughs>